the title of this lesson is what is a ninth chord so you may have seen a ninth chord written down in sheet music or someone may have asked you to play a ninth chord so what is a ninth chord anyways I'm going to show you how you can find out how to play a ninth chord for any key so it's pretty easy um, so the ninth is an extension which means that it is beyond the octave of your original key so when you have your key of C you have eight notes till you get to C again and we count those notes up or down and we call them scale degrees one two three four five six seven eight so from one to eight we have an octave so what is a ninth well a ninth would be the very next note right so the other way to look at it is it is a two but up an octave so when we play in the key of C the second degree of C is D so if we move that up an octave that would be our ninth so if I play a major chord in C which would be C E G and if I play the D on top that's a C major 9 you can also play it in its inversion so that means you you can start in first inversion which would be starting on the E you can go E G C D and so in the little piece that I played in the beginning I tried to construct it entirely out of ninth chords the basic chord structure it's just four chords so it is an E flat major to a C major and I was playing that in the first inversion and then you repeat the E flat major again and then you go back to the C major And here I put in an A flat major. And then that goes to an F major. So, like so. So, what I did is I made each of those major chords a ninth chord. I made it a major nine. So, you construct your chord major chord is the first degree third degree and fifth degree of the scale so in e flat that is e flat g and b flat is your major chord and another e flat up top is the octave so the ninth would be f so i created this pedal between the ninth and the octave of the chord and so I play the chord there's your E flat major 9 and then I pedal these top two notes the 9 and the octave so it sounds like this and so I created that little pattern that really I think catches the ear so if you do that on each chord you get this nice little melodic pattern and your ear really gravitates to repeated notes and repeat patterns let's just go through each chord and try it so for the E flat major it goes like this I am also holding my sustain pedal down so it sounds like this Okay, and now we go to the C major in first inversion.
So let's play those two together. Okay. So I repeat those that little movement there. So it goes E flat C E flat C. Then I go to the A flat. And that sounds like this. And then to the F major, which I'm also playing in an inversion. I'm not playing the root of the chord. So that sounds like this. And with the ninth pedal, sounds like this. So the whole thing all together sounds like this. So let's choose another one. Let's choose one that is not in the chord progression that I played. So let's say an F sharp nine. So how do you play an F sharp nine? Well, find your F sharp. And then we play the third and the fifth. So that's F sharp major. And then what do you think our nine is gonna be? Well. It's the second degree of the scale, right? So if I go one, two, three. So the ninth of F sharp is G sharp. So all I have to do is play that an octave up from my original root note, and I have an F sharp nine. So that would sound like this. It's a really kind of pleasing and bright sound. Um, it is good to end phrases on, and it's really good. It's a really good note to add on top of your original octave, as I was using in the pedal. So that was kind of what gave me the idea for that. So in the piece that I played. I am using all major chords, but you can also play a minor nine. And the way to play a minor nine is very simple. You just play, you build your minor chord first, and then you add the ninth degree. So if I was playing C major nine, I would play C, E, G, D. And there's my nine on top. So if I want to play a minor nine, all I need to do is flat my third and make it an E flat. And now I have C minor, and the ninth is still the same because it's the second degree of the C scale and the C minor scale, it's the same. So it would be C, E flat, G, D. And that is the sound of a C minor nine. So you don't change the nine in that case. The nine is always the same. It's the second degree of the scale, but you do change your third, obviously, so that it is it becomes a minor chord. In one more example, let's try an F minor nine. So let's build our F minor. So that's gonna be F, A flat, and C. And so what do you think our ninth is going to be? Well, the second degree of F minor scale is G. 
So I need to add a G an octave up to my F minor chord. So let's play it again. F, A flat, C, and G on top. So that's a pretty nice sound. Uh, it's kind of jazzy. All right, guys. Well, thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. And now you can play ninth chords easily. Um, so if you enjoyed the lesson, please hit subscribe on the channel. And also let me know if there's any specific content you'd like me to go over. I'm happy to do it. So as always, have fun playing music every day.